Hi, I'm Charlie Hume. And I'm Josh Myers. Today we're going to talk briefly about some contributing factors when choosing a transfer switch for a critical power application. Transfer switches transition an electrical load between a normal and alternate power source in two basic ways, open and closed. An open transition breaks its connection to one power source before making a connection to the other. As a result, the electrical load is unpowered during the transition period, which can last anywhere from several milliseconds to several seconds. In some instances, it is preferable for the load to remain unpowered for a few seconds, so that mechanical loads, such as motors, can slow their rotation before connecting to a new power source. In contrast, a closed transition will make a connection to the new power source before disconnecting from the old power source. This connection overlap allows the load to remain powered throughout the transition period, but only when both power sources are available. When there is a utility outage, most transfer switches will perform an open transition transfer to a standby generator. So the real uptime benefit of a closed transition is realized during the retransfer back to utility power once it's restored. Understanding your tolerance for a brief power disruption at the load is one of the most important factors when deciding which transition type is best for your application. By example, uptime and operational redundancy are important concerns when transfer switches are deployed in mission critical applications, such as healthcare environments. Although a conventional transfer switch will reliably provide power to support a critical load, the ability to perform routine testing or maintenance without affecting daily operations can be a challenge. A bypass isolation transfer switch addresses these concerns by effectively providing two transfer switches in a single assembly. The primary automatic transfer switch handles the day-to-day -day distribution of electrical power, while the bypass transfer switch, which can also be automatic, serves as a backup. During test or maintenance procedures, this technology allows a technician to bypass power around the primary ATS through the bypass transfer switch to ensure that critical loads remain powered without interruption. Additionally, safety is paramount when maintenance on energized equipment is performed. To help address this challenge, some bypass isolation transfer switch designs now offer compartmentalized draw-out construction, interlocks, and shock hazard mitigation features to help keep workers safe. Yay! Go to eaton.com ATS for more information. Thank you, and we hope you'll join us again soon. Yay!